In this clip, I will explain how you can adjust the basic settings of an experiment within the input menu. This explanation will allow you to create experiments in SWAP based on your own research questions. For example, let's use the SWAP model to investigate the effect of a deeper initial groundwater level. You need to simulate two experiments of the built from the year 1982 with different initial groundwater levels. In this clip, I will explain the options available to simulate these two experiments. On the right side of the screen, you can find the input and output menus. By default, the input menu is visible, which you can see by the blue color of this tab. Below the input tab, you can find the tabs of different processes that are simulated within your experiment. Within each tab, you can adjust options, switches, and variables to set up your own experiment. Let's take a closer look at three default tabs in the input menu. Within the tab Main, the main settings of the experiment are visible, the period that is simulated, and whether processes related to crop, irrigation, drainage, solute transport, or heat transport are taken into account. All these latter options, by default, are switched off. If you select one of these switches, irrigation for instance, a new tab becomes visible where the options and variables related to irrigation can be specified. In this clip, I will focus on basic processes only, so I will deselect this switch. Let's now change the simulation period. Instead of modeling the default period, I want to model the year 1982 only. Therefore, I need to click on the drop down menu, Adjust Settings. This drop down menu, Adjust Settings, is also visible in the other input tabs. If you click on this drop-down menu, you will notice that the button Save is always on top. Please remember, you have to click on this button in order to save your modifications. I would like to change the beginning of the simulation to the 1st of January 1982. To do this, you can use the calendar menu. To change the year, click on January 1980 and then on 1980. From here, you can select 1982. Jan 1. When you are finished changing the date, click outside the calendar menu. You can also type the date directly into the input box. For example, I will now change the end date to 1982 12 31. You will notice that the simulation period for this experiment has not changed yet. In order to see the changes, you need to save these modifications. To do that, you have to select Save. Now let's take a look at the Meteo tab. Here, you can select the meteorological station and other options related to how the meteorological data is used within SWAP. You can see here that SWAP uses the meteorological data of the KOI as an external forcing. I would like to change this to DeBuilt. I click on the drop-down list and select DeBuilt. Now let's look at the tab Soil. Here, all processes related to soil such as groundwater level, can be adjusted. If you select soil, a drop-down list appears where you have to choose which soil section you want to adjust. The options now visible are related to the selected section, Initial Soil Moisture Conditions. Here you need to adjust the groundwater level. We can see that in this experiment, the groundwater level is 75 centimeters below the surface, which is indicated with the minus sign. I will use the settings of the experiment that I have modified so far, 
as the control experiment for answering the research question. In order to be sure that only the groundwater level differs in the second experiment, I need to clone this control experiment. I open the drop-down menu, Experiment, and select Clone, Save As, and type Groundwater 150 centimeters. I am now ready to adjust the groundwater level. Please notice that this new experiment is selected. I click on the drop-down menu Adjust Settings, located under Initial Groundwater in the Input menu. I need to change the initial groundwater level to minus 150 centimeters, and then select Save. I want to save both of these experiments, so I need to select Save All in the Experiment menu. So I can use these settings when I open Swap again. Now you have learned how to create two experiments by adapting basic options in the Input menu to answer your research question. In the Output menu clip, I will explain the options of the Output menu using these two experiments. In the second Input menu clip, I will set up an experiment with more advanced options, such as a crop table.